If the oil overflows from the water side, it indicates that the water seal is broken. The reason could be very high oil inlet temperature. Inspect the temperature controller and the steam inlet valve of the heater. Rectify the defects in the heating system. Improper selection of gravity disks will shift the oil water interface towards the periphery resulting in oil flow to the water side. Select the correct gravity disk. Oil overflow can also be due to low speed of the bowl. Inspect the friction pads and replace if necessary. If the oil throughput is less, it may be due to the malfunctioning of the feed pump's relief valve. Overhaul and adjust the relief valve. Choked filter in the feed line may also lead to reduction of oil throughput. Inspect and clean the filter. Clogged pipeline can also be a reason for low oil throughput. Clean the pipeline. If the operating water pressure decreases, the bowl will not close properly and oil will leak to the sludge side. The operating water pressure will reduce if the waterline filter is clogged. Clean the waterline filter. The choked pairing disc will reduce the operating water pressure. Inspect and clean the pairing disc. The operating water can leak through the worn out o rings and the bowl will open, allowing the oil to sludge side. Inspect and replace the o rings. Heavy vibration may be due to the accumulation of sludge and bowl imbalance. Inspect and clean the bowl. Inspect the shock vibration mounting. Desludging water may not flow due to the faulty operation of solenoid. Inspect and replace the solenoid. Choked water line filter also blocks the flow of desludging water. Clean the filter. The rise in back pressure may be due to constriction in the purifier outlet piping, high throughput or low inlet temperature. Inspect and take corrective action. Improper selection of gravity disc will shift the oil water interface towards the center resulting in water flowing through the oil slide. Select the correct gravity disc.